Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Christian from Berlin. Wouldn't it be great if you could sit down with very little skill on any piano and create out of thin air that cocktail jazz sound, like you were born in a bar yourself. Um, I have a lot of cocktail piano from easy to advanced. Have a look at my description box, many hot videos I recommend to you. Now let's fake some cocktail jazz. Hope you enjoy this one. We want to sound more expensive than our skills actually are. So we don't need fast runs or actually you might as well have two potatoes instead of um, hands. And you have no idea what you're playing. That's the point of faking and with very few little note changes we can create kind of a you know knowledgeable sound. That's the idea. Now we start. You have to pay attention though because we still need a couple of intervals. You don't need a lot of theory behind it. You just copy what I do. Now, uh, the intervals we still need. So, for example, we start in F. Uh, so very often I start with C, but some people were saying not always in C. Do another key too. We do F. And you must pay attention now. Then the rest becomes easy. The, we have a voicing here in the right hand, meaning voicing how a chord is expressed. And this way we have the root here. We have the major third, fifth, minor seven, uh, uh, the major seven and the nine here. And these intervals are the minimum we need. And you see we have the following G minor seven and it just hand moves just up. Woo! And it's the same thing, G minor seven, three, five, seven and nine, same kind of voicing. Um, and uh, which is of course we have a two, five, progression uh, from you don't you don't have to remember that remember we are bluffing but G minor 7 is the second degree of F and now comes the first one note trick you know that from our voicings lessons maybe we just move this finger one down the rest of look the rest of the hand stays completely paralyzed when we go to C7 the potato doesn't have to move much and potatoes do not like to move as we know you see we have G minor 7 that's the basis and a little bit later we add this one but for now we start with the G minor 7 and see what can we do with just one finger tricks to make this sound you can also play you add the minor 7 in left hand if you want here then we have it doubled now the idea for now is we just add one we just move one finger to create something that sounds knowledgeable. Now listen. Oh, just the one finger from the fifth to the flat five. And now we do go to remember the C7 coming now. Let me just explain quickly the intervals of this G7. You remember the basic the movement, one finger movement from here to the C7. And of the C7, we now have the minor seven, the ninth, remember the ninth, and the third and the sixth here. Yes, if your potato feels stretched right now, well, you know, cooked potatoes, you press on top and they go, you know, they flatten a little bit. And if you find this stressful, you just, um, Think of it as a potato, you squeeze a little bit, and then it can easily play this. Okay, so now we have this. And the G minus seven, remember, remember. And then, okay, and here we start to bluff a little bit more. Now, the main bluffing notes are this one, the index finger, and this one, which is the 13 or the 6 related to C. No. And with the index finger we can do the prettiest stuff. Like listen to this now. And if you just play this now. And if you just sit down and on the piano somewhere in the bar and you just play. I will explain that later. It's another bluff. And then Then you already have the job. Let's have a look again. So G minor seven, where you can play with the fifth. 
Here now we are in C7. Now you play with the index finger. If you want, you can call the ninth, but we don't need that for today. Like, but also the, the, this index finger is omnipotent. Listen to this. Or if we leave it out now, here. So again, we are here. Or wonderful two elegant sounds just with the within uh, the reach of the index finger. Again. Now. Remember? We come to that also a little bit later. A couple of bluffs are waiting for us. Now again. What did I play here? And this is another bluff. Yes, I know your hand is just a potato, but potatoes can roll. So you remember you have this voicing in the right hand. So, you know potato, you, it's like this. You roll it and it jumps to where it was before, just one octave higher, and you roll your potato, your clumsy uh, potato here. What you had before Yeah, I will show you in a minute the, the uh, this part here. Okay, again. G minor 7 and same on C7. Again, we do we did this in in G minor seven. Yeah, the potato roll. One potato is your hand, roll, but you roll it here. The big clumsy potato. It's just repeated and rolled it, rolled it, rolled it. And we can do the same on C if you want so. Like potato, here, roll it, rup, 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 or ah, oh, here. Same, same thing yet. Yeah. Now we do this. And since you you just repeat it, it's so easy. Whatever you have under your right hand, you just copy paste, copy paste, copy paste here. Our our starting point. And since you have in cocktail jazz, you have all the time in the world. It's slow music. It's ambient music. Here, potato, roll it, roll it. This is much easier than. Yeah, this are these arpeggi, as we Italians say. Uh, they are much harder, but here they sound almost as good. And this is just a baked potato on uh, cream cheese, which is the white keys. Now, okay, let's have a look at that stranger. That is a little bit the hardest bit, but uh, you don't have to understand today. You just have to copy. Now, I give you a little bit of background. Okay, we want to go back to the G minor seven. Yeah. So, and the, the D seven is this one. You can see it's a D seven, a plain boring D seven. Now, what we do is again, we, uh, we use a couple of one finger solutions here. Oh, you see, oh, it's already this. We are in the one finger luxury um, department today here. D7, and we do the, it, just one finger, you can do in both directions. But we stay for out, we stay here. And now, squeeze it, the cooked potato, check. And then suddenly, here, you have this, the, the outer rim of the potato goes to the sharp nine. Wow. Yeah, I leave it here. Look at it. Look at this beauty. And this is well within reach of uh, the average right-hand potato. So, now, okay. 
when you internalize this, the D7, yeah, look at the display. It's a sharp five and the sharp nine. And then move it over and roll it. Move it over, roll it. Move it over and roll it. And then this is the dominant of the G minor seven, which we end up here. Shall we repeat what we just learned? The question is yes. I answer my own questions here. It's my channel. It's my video. I can, I can ask the questions and answer them in the same phrase. Okay. Again, now we start with the G minor seven. You're with me, right? Oh. You remember? The index finger? There is this new friend coming in. I told you in the beginning, you can bluff with the index finger and you can do it with the sixth here. Yeah. Now we had this one. Now, oh, where am I? I? And now listen to this. How wonderful. And everybody thinks you just played eight star hotels for all your life. Now, of course, we put it now here, but you can to make it a little bit more shiny and glistening, you play it here. And then. that on the C7 we played now look at this the 13 look at the display look at the display it's the and it becomes the minor 6 or as you see wrongly called here the sharp 5 they're basically describing the same note um, as we all know each note can be called from different sides like I sometimes called from the left side from my mother uh, no, I don't you tell you what I won't, I won't reveal what she calls me and my brother from the right hand side calls me idiot and my mother let's call it say she calls me sweetheart, but It's the same. It's the same. It's Christian Was that clear? Okay. Yes, and uh, so here we have Fantastic so you remember index finger moving in both directions and uh, on the uh, on the dominant index finger or the this finger now you can also move both of them you move the fifth finger and the index finger now listen to this oh so many combinations here or You get the idea, huh? You get the idea. This took us about six and a half minutes 
uh, and it sounded like 20 years of experience in the dungeons of five-star hotel chains. Mm. Now, I figured out that you can do a little bit in the left hand also. Now, look at this. We start here. Oh, hold on. What is it? What is it? Okay, again, we are here, G minor seven. Now, listen to this. Or, yeah, great little bluffing trick. I use it all the time. Yeah, we just go from the, we are, this time it's the left hand going from the root up to the major third. And second clue, a second uh, uh, bluff in this. Wonderful. Like we go from the fifth chromatically. Yeah, it's very easy in the hand. It's just two notes, but it sounds so knowledgeable. What can we do here? Um, let me check. I have, I have not thought about this. We leave that out for now. Yeah, why not? We just go on the D7. We just go to the octave. Already, already you're all settled for uh, for a nice evening and uh, where was the hold on hold on okay now you have the basis with just finger movement of uh, like uh, of just one finger uh, now we try something <laughs> very little on top and it will already create atmosphere now listen to this Now, because we have this rich, this rich carpet, like they are in, in hotels, it's terrible, and looks uh, five-star hotels, they always have these thick carpets. I find them, I, I just don't like them. I don't like thick carpets. But we, in this case, we have this thick carpet underneath with these little tricks. And now we can play very little notes. I'm not asking you much. Just, you know, we try, uh, just as a proof of concept. G minor seven. Yeah. And potato rolls. So, yes, we would now enter, if I suggested more notes and scales, we, we would not be bluffing anymore. But now you see, with this, with very little stuff, uh, with very little thing on top, but with this rich uh, change, changes underneath, like you can play like... Hold on. You can just repeat chord notes here. Our just G minor chord notes.
get the idea. Let's let's try uh, something something else on top. Oh, it's like a very 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 simple little bluesy line causes a uh, style and uh, mellow bluesiness. Yeah. That is still bluffing. very or yeah okay I'll show you this one it's still bluffing come on yeah we are in G minor Well, you can play actually um, simple blues licks that you know from my tutorials, really very simple, or the major blues scale. Listen to this. Here. The major blues scale is this, and all notes will fit, and that's the greatest bluff of all, over all chords. Like. So I, could, I hope I explained that you, every one of you could understand it and with uh, little skills, you know, pretend this great luxurious sound. If you want to dive a little deeper and uh, practice with me a little bit more what to play on top, uh, please follow me on my patron site, become a patron and you get up to four extra lessons, uh, exclusive lessons. Um, and uh, I will link it in the description box. So please become a member, get extra perks. And this time we go a, a bit more into this uh, lesson today and discover a bit more things to play. Bye bye from Berlin. Thanks for watching.